Welcome to the Banker Middle East Leadership Series. Once again, we have with us Mr. Saad Azari, Chairman of uh, Bloom Bank. Mr. Saad, it's an honor to have you with us here again. Um, Mr. Saad is going to talk about his strategy and expansion plans for Bloom Bank. If we could start with um, how Bloom Bank has performed over the course of 2018, what are your uh, views on that? Okay. First, thank you very much for having me, it's and amazing. thank you for coming to Beirut. Uh, 2018 was a tough year for the banking sector in general uh, because uh, there was a double taxation uh, tax on interest that was introduced in 2017, end of 2017. So there was an increase of taxation on banks in Lebanon. Overall, the banking system in Lebanon uh, had the results of the banking sector was 15% lower than 2017. Uh, however, this, uh, uh, we were able as Blom to have a slight improvement in profits. We increased our profits by about 5%. We reached $510 million. We also achieved the highest return on equity among listed banks in Lebanon, around 16.5%. Uh, that was achieved by keeping our cost very low. Our cost to income, around 35%, is the lowest among the banks. Uh, and we had a reasonable growth in deposits and, uh, and assets. Also, uh, our capital adequacy around 19% until 2018 is also at, at a high level. It seems like you managed to navigate through challenging conditions last year, but what was the biggest hurdle you think you faced in 2018 and how has that affected your strategy for this year? I think the biggest problem was the political vacuum uh, that we, we were witnessing uh, last year. It took a long time to form a, a government. Uh, there was uncertainty in the market uh, and uh, the fiscal deficit grew uh, largely in 2018. So there was really this problem, all I mean, Lebanon faced this problem. The growth rate in Lebanon was almost uh, nil. Uh, and uh, really the environment was a difficult uh, environment in 2018. All right, so when we met last year, you mentioned that one of your key markets is Egypt. How has your business in Egypt grown? Uh, and do you have new plans for expansion in the country? Well, frankly speaking, Egypt is our best market. We are doing extremely well there. We expect also in 2019 that it will be a great year. Uh, we expect our results to be at least 50% improvement over 2018. Uh, now we reach 41 branches in Egypt. Uh, we are going to grow by seven or eight branches in 2019. Uh, also, our services uh, are improving there. And the economy, it's, it's the highest growth in the Arab world. I mean, the growth around 5.5% uh, economic growth. So really, uh, the situation in Egypt is excellent, and the situation of our bank is extremely good. Uh, our return equity in Egypt uh, is uh, our highest return equity among all, the, you know, all our uh, subsidiaries. Uh, we are in 12 countries. In terms of business streams, uh, from what I understand, you mentioned uh, Egypt having 41 branches and growing economy. So is it largely retail or do you have any plans in terms of you know, um, expanding that? We are now effectively doing everything we are doing in Lebanon, we are doing in Egypt. So we are doing retail, we are doing corporate, trade finance, we are doing brokerage, mm -hmm. asset management, uh, even insurance. So really, the, so which everything is, which we are doing in Lebanon, we are, we are doing everything. So really, and we are growing in all areas. So this is what's uh, really good. We have now big potential in, in, in the retail growth in, in Egypt. Uh, and really, frankly speaking, we are growing also in corporate lending, SME lending, in all areas. And the market, as I said, is really booming in Egypt. Really, the, the free reforms that happened in Egypt were excellent reforms. And I hope that in Lebanon, we learned from the Egyptian experience, the government will learn from Egyptian experience, and do some of the reforms that they have done in Egypt. On that note, <laughs> you also mentioned last year that your biggest concern, obviously, was the absence of a government. Uh, now that, well, there's one in place, how do you plan to leverage on this and, um, yeah, on improving sentiments of the country? Yes. Well, yes, like you said, I mean, now, the big thing now is that we have a government, a functioning government, and they started to work. Uh, the first really achievement that they had was the electricity plan. You know, Lebanon uh, has the biggest problem of Lebanon was the deficit of electricity. It's costing us every year around $2 billion. Uh, 
so a huge sum for our, our country. And uh, the, the government passed a new electricity plan where over two or three years the deficit will be removed. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, the plan was uh, also approved by the parliament. So this is a big achievement. Now the government, uh, they are working on the budget of 2019 where they have important reforms that they are discussing. As we speak right now, they are meeting. Uh, and and uh, hopefully they are also going to meet on Sunday. So they have you know, uh, several meetings in the next few days to try to finish from the budget uh, from the government and send it to the parliament. So this is a big achievement. And really, there is a, we hope that there will be a major reforms in, in the budget. So how, as a bank, so how do you plan to ride on this wave of improvements? Let's say it's a favorable decision that they come up yes. with the budget. Short term, we have to say, short term, it's going to be tough on the economy and on the banks because the, 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 the reforms, I mean, they are in contractory na nature. So there will be a contraction a bit in the economy because they have to cut on, on the spending and maybe to increase some taxes, including taxes maybe on interest. So uh, at the beginning, there will be uh, some, some effects that are not favorable uh, you know, for the banks. But this is short term. Medium long term, this is going to be very beneficial because we are going to be able to get the money from the Seder conference, which will be uh, definitely which will be expansionary, expansionary, and we're going to have growth in our GDP. Uh, plus, as you know, end of this year, uh, the gas exploration is going to start, and this is also, we expected that we'll have good results in the coming years. So I would say that 2019 is going to be a tough year, uh, tougher than 2018. And hopefully in 2020, things are going to start, uh, we are going to see some positive uh, developments. Okay, so Blom Bank has quite an extensive network in Europe. Where do you see your European business going? We have uh, a presence in five countries in, in Europe. Uh, we are present in Switzerland, in uh, France, uh, in London, uh, in Cyprus and Romania. Uh, and uh, I think, I mean, uh, first of all, we are not competing with uh, local uh, European banks. We are, our customers are Lebanese and Arab customers. Mm -hmm. So we are a niche uh, bank. It's not like our presence in the Arab countries where we are really, really like a local bank. Uh, we are concentrating on commercial, trade financing act activity and private banking. We see big potential in the private banking activities, especially in, in Switzerland. And we are strengthening our operations there. And I think you know, through our network, we have a big potential to grow this business, uh, especially in, in Europe. All right, I think you've touched on this three questions ago. <laughs> but from where you're sitting right now, what are your views on the current political and economic conditions in the country? And what is your outlook then for the year? As I said, I think it's going to be, 2019 is going to be difficult. Uh, and that is because of um, the reform, adapting yeah. to the reforms. Yes, right. reforms, you know, they, they have to really cut their spending. Uh, they have to also increase uh, some taxes to try to increase their revenues, so to lower their deficit. And this will have definitely a negative uh, effect in the short term. So this is, we have to expect it. But th this reform is needed uh, so that we can, you know, after, afterwards, you know, grow the economy and improve our fiscal situation. So our major concern right now is the fiscal discipline. So we really, you know, we are happy to see some fiscal discipline and we hope to see that. Uh, and if they are successful with that, uh, we are going to see a big improvement. And I think banks will benefit in the years to come from the improvement that we'll be seeing. But we have to, I mean, uh, we have to accept uh, you know, that the environment and the profits of the banks uh, in 2019 overall in the banking sector will have an important drop in, uh, in profits. We will try as a Blom Bank to compensate uh, as much as possible from the drop in our profits in Lebanon with the growth of profits outside, especially in, in Egypt. I was just going to ask if that, you know, how was your plan to mitigate those short-term risks? So obviously, by, by, by yes. you know, by the, our ex external presence to increase outside the country. The All right. Um, do you have anything else to add? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sad.